pretty nice. What's up, y'all? So the perks of having a YouTube channel is not only if you're successful, you get to make a little money at it, but you've got companies that want to send you things to uh, to try out. They want honest reviews. They they don't want to be with somebody who's bound by contract to have to say nice things. They want honest reviews. And uh, a lot of uh, channels like myself, even the bigger channels, but a lot of channels are up and coming. Companies will send stuff like that to, to try out. I've been very fortunate in the past couple of years that almost everything has been sent to me. I still have, it still works out great. Um, I do some research when they, when they email me and ask if I want to um, do some things. There's been a couple that I've turned down, um, but, and it's just a couple out of a bunch. And these two companies, T-Sec and Three Pigeons sent me a couple of things that I think you're gonna like. Now, before we get to the video, I will tell you these are not the bottom of the barrel items. You know, but they're not the top either. Um, they're, I guess, about mid-range, maybe a little high on one, uh, but very well worth it. If you guys have followed me on the channel, you know that this is a blue-collar guy. I like to get things that's affordable, right? Budget items. Everybody's budget is different, but these two items I think you're going to like. We're going to go through them. I'm going to show you. Now, they're two different companies, like I said. Uh, I hope they don't get mad, but uh, I didn't think it'd be necessary to make two different videos instead of just putting them both in one because they can actually be used at the same time so we're going to go ahead and start with the three pigeons item which is a range bag we're going to kind of go through it and show all the options it has and uh what it can do and then we'll go to the t-sec which is actually a, a camping chair but i'm gonna tell you it's not your typical camping chair thing is small and it i'm 278 pounds and it holds me just fine Remember, if you enjoy our content, make sure you like, subscribe, click that little notification bell. You won't miss any of our new uploads and share our content. All right, so for starters, right off, right off the bat, you have a side pocket here that has three cases um, for your, your handguns. Just lay them out here. Also inside this bag, you have a flap here that's fully customizable with Velcro. You can actually make this to where it's a whole separate compartment. Inside here, inside your bags, um, we'll just open one up here. This is this is just the old Springfield 9 XD. Okay, put that in there and load it. So I gotta like it. Have it there. Then you got a separate pouch here that has a Velcro to keep it away from your mags, just so it don't scratch up your paint job there if you got a or you just don't want it touching and you've got three slots here actually one two four i'm sorry slots for extra mags it is a little see-through mesh it's really this is high quality this ain't the cheap stuff good thing about these bags from the velcro straps to the little uh separate you know the flaps they got to separate things zipper it's 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 high quality the stitching on here the double stitching on here it's not it's not cheaply made, guys. And what I like about these zippers, these are the good size zippers. And you have the um, paracord here with the heat shrink on the end, so it's never going to come untied. Very durable. I mean, it's it's not it's not cheaply made. I will say that. Now, again, inside here, if you want to, you could take that flap Velcro. You could actually roll it up under Velcro it and make it a whole separate bag from the top. Even when you load those things up, still has plenty of room to. Uh, to fit in here and on the sides you do have all your your slits here for all your t uh external uh tactical bags you want to put on here or maybe a little medic kit or hang something there a phone holder or whatever everything's ready to go on the front you have it's all velcro okay like i said i just had some fun bought some patches put them on there but you do have all your your slits here uh for all your tactical accessories you want to put on the the side Somebody's probably going to bust me and say, hey, the real name for that is this. You know what I'm saying. You're kind of tongue-tied sometimes. But go to the front. Front pouch here. Oh, so many zippers. In here, you've got, I just got my IR lights for my sight marks in here and some other stuff. You've got those accessories. You can put you another pistol in here if you wanted. Throw some mags in here or whatever. Uh, does come with a... Little see, little see-through pouch. It's real high-grade material. Again, it's not cheaply made. Um, in here, just got my Allen wrench set for tightening the lights on. Guns, we'll zip that up. But this side pouch, this side pouch the same way, built just like the other. 
Got all these slits for your tactical bags. Okay, it's got a pouch in there, one there, and then you have one on the outside. Again, it's a big, all waterproof here too as well. Now we'll start on the top. We'll start here. You probably see me this one big strap. What this one big strap is, if you want to put a tactical helmet on here, this will go over it and hold it down, all fully adjustable. Front pouch, got some little pockets here, Velcro pockets. These got neoprene inside, so if you want to put something in there, keep from scratching up. Uh, real nice, again, real high grade material, man. I've had a lot of bags, you know, from Academy to some tactical stores, and this is the best bag, honestly, I've seen. Uh, again, there's another pocket in here. Unzip this one. This is just one big pocket here. This has got my cords for my uh, my night vision stuff. Again, you probably see where you can some Velcro. You can customize these pockets pretty much any way you want to to build this bag how you like it to hide a lot of stuff. There's a lot a lot of stuff you can put in these bags, especially for this size. The very top bag or top pouch. I'm sorry. So that compartment right here, this is the one where the three, they slide in the side. And if you want to take that, roll it up and Velcro it and make it a whole separate uh, compartment, you can. On the front, you know, all your straps, very thickly padded. Got some good uh, for your back right here, real thick. So it's real nice and comfortable, fully adjustable. You've got, you've got the waist strap and of course across the front, you have it to uh, for your chest. I'll put it on here in a second. Now, the coolest thing I like about this bag, if you're out, if you're using this, whether you're at the range, you use this for a hunting bag, a fishing bag, whatever you want, you have a, a waterproof bag. You just take right here and it stays in this little pocket and you can just slide over this whole thing and it will cover. It's got to pull it down a little better. Anyway, it'll cover the whole thing. So it'll keep the water out. I think it's pretty cool. And it, again, stays in this pouch. It's uh, it's tethered right here. So if you want to take it off, you can. Uh, I just leave it tethered. But if you want to take it off, just unwrap it and you can take it off. And it all goes right back here in this little pouch right in the front. Just like that. Now, again, I'm pretty good size, old boy. I'm right at 278 pounds. Pretty wide up top. This thing fits pretty good. Like I said, it's fully adjustable. Once you get it on here, you can grab these straps, suck it up to how you want to, how high you want to. It does have the the uh, waist straps put right here, around your midsection the way you're camping. That way this thing ain't bouncing around, however you want to do it. Very comfortable. It's, it's uh, depends on how much you want to throw in there. But like I said, with all the thick padding here you have on your shoulder straps, you have the thick cushion in the back. It's a very comfortable bag. And with all the stuff you can put in here, this can be your range bag, your hunting bag, a fishing bag, camping bag, whatever you want. As fully customizable as it is, it could be anything you want. All right, you guys, now on to the T-Sec camping chair. Look at the size comparison. It's up against my body right here, okay? It's not even as wide as my shoulders. But the way it folds up, the way it unfolds and snaps into place, Pretty cool. It's military grade aluminum. Um, it's just like anything else, you snap in place, you have the little balls there that go to different heights. <clears throat> Very easy to put together. You do not need instructions. If you need instructions to put this together, like I've said it before, you're probably eating Tide Pods. Very, very easy to assemble. So nice little Velcro strap, stays with the chair so you don't lose it. It's just like an umbrella the way it folds up. Just wrap everything up, or unfold it, I'm sorry. There it is. It just folds up on itself. Literally just folds up on itself. It wraps around. There it is. Easy peasy. It's kind of built like uh, all the new pop-up blinds. Everything just folds up and you can put it uh, in a bag. So once you get it open, before you undo the legs, all you want to do is just take these, Slide them out, okay? The bottom, where your legs will be, 
just one snap. The top of your back, it'll be two snaps. Make sure everything's snapped in real easy. And legs are uh, spring loaded. Undo that, boom, they just come right apart. And that's your chair. The coolest part about this whole chair is it swivels. Got a little bearing in there and it's protected with rubber boots. So you're not gonna get sand in there and get all gritty and nasty. The tag says 225 pounds. Website says 300. Now I asked him to send me two just in case. The reason I was gonna have my son on here with me, he's my same size, uh, same build. He's a big old high school boy. Um, and we're gonna sit in a comparison and uh, just see how it looked. And uh, anyway, he can't make it. But I figure what the hell, if I test it in the brakes, I got another one, right? But I'm telling you, this stuff is real high quality. I've sat in it a lot of times. Um, you can almost use it as a blind chair. Let's sit down a minute and grab my bow and just show you how easy it is to swivel around. But again, guys, it's high quality stuff. This is not your cheap little put together, a little thin metal you get at Academy at Walmart um, that they charge you a bunch for, like the little rocking fold up chairs are like 70 bucks. <clears throat> I will say, this one's running on right now on sale for $89. Originally, it's $99. Some of you probably fixing to change the channel when I said that, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's it's uh, probably one of the last ones you're gonna have to buy for a while. But anyway, let me set it up and show you how to, how well it sits. You can see nothing's gonna flex, nothing's gonna bend back. When you sit in it, it don't feel like it's gonna break. Very comfortable, very sturdy. Now again, it does say 225 on the tag, 300 on the website. Um, if you're kind of pushing those numbers, you don't want to just flop down in it, right? Because um, you're not going to do that. Sitting it comfortably, look, I'm moving around, feet off the ground, swivel, no problem. It's got a little back, you know, a little back to it. You do sit kind of relaxed backwards, doesn't have any armrest, but very comfortable. You can simply just adjust around a campfire or something like that. Like I said before, uh, you can even use it as a blind chair. Get my release here. Sitting in the blind, grab your bow. Very comfortable. You can even put this on the front of your boat. There you go. There's your little boat chair right there, nice and comfy. Um, like I said, good for the salt water because of what it's made out of. You can swing around. It's a have to do the little chair, man. If it'll hold my big butt up on here, I think you're gonna be fine. All right, you guys, there is the collapsible foldable chair from T-Sec, however you wanna say it. Um, of course, I'm gonna leave a link in the description on how to get to this. Uh, again, these are, I think they're on sale right now for like 89. Normally they're 99. Like I said, don't let the price point scare you away. These are awesome chairs uh, for what they can do, what they can hold up to, uh, the build on them. They're gonna last a long time. What's up? Uh, you're, really gonna, you're really gonna like these, man. These are well worth it. All right, you guys, so again, I wanna thank T-Sec and Three Pigeons for sending me these two items. I hope they don't get mad I put them in the same video, but I do like the fact that you can use these at the same time uh, for a hunting bag, hunting chair, fishing bag, fishing chair, camping bag, camping chair. You can even throw in there because it's got uh, plenty of room for it. Uh, very well built, very sturdy. You're not gonna regret purchasing either of these two items. So appreciate you watching the video. Uh, don't do a whole lot of these kind of videos, but like I said, these uh, folks are kind enough to send me this stuff. I really think you'll like them. Uh, I get nothing out of this. Uh, I don't make no money off of this. This is just a big thank you to them guys for sending it to me and giving me a chance to uh, show off their stuff and to get some content out there. Like I said, links to both uh, of these items will be in the description, right? You can get 10% off on the uh, the bag. And like I said, they're on sale pretty much all the time uh, for the T-Sec uh, camping gear for the chair. Uh, you're gonna like them both. This is that time of year where it's hard for me to get videos back to back to back because I got my son in sports. He's in shot and disc right now and he's, he's district champ last week. So now we gotta go down to La Jolla, down the valley for area. Hopefully he does well there, then region and hopefully state. So the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be bowed up, but I've got some scopes coming up as well. I've got a sight mark mini. Uh, I wanna really get out there and do some hunting with. And the uh, One Leaf sent me their NV100 Plus. I think you guys are really gonna like that, so stay tuned for those videos. John, let y'all get out of here. Thanks for watching again. Every chance you get, wet a line, let an arrow fly. 
put some rounds down range. We'll see y'all next time.